Hey, Gurbani. What was the book you chose for your ISU? The book that I chose for my ISU is called Miss New India. Can you give us a brief summary of the book you have chosen? So, the book that I chose is called Miss New India, and it's about a young adult named Anjali Bose. So, Anjali Bose is born into a lower class traditional family, and she has an arranged marriage on her hands. Anjali's future does not look great according to her and her teacher, Peter Champion, and her teacher sees her ambition and, the fluency, and her fluency in the English language and notices the amazing potential she has to be something more better than just a housewife. And um, Anjali sets off to the metropolis of Bangalore in hopes of changing her life, finding personal happiness, and searching her place in the world. Thank you. What was your favorite quote? Read it, and why did you choose it? Well, one of my favorite quotes from the book is, is um, the money is in my investment in you. My investment is you, Anjali Bose. Now, this is one of my favorite quotes, and it's said by Peter Champion, which is Anjali's teacher. And um, it's one of my favorite quotes because it really shows how much Peter Champion believes in Anjali to find her place in the world and be something more because she has so much more potential than just kind of sitting around and kind of listening to her potential husband's plans or whatever. Um, it shows that his admiration for Anjali is real because he does not care about how much money it's going to take to let Anjali find herself, but how she uses the money to establish herself. So it really shows how much Peter Champion really believes in her and how much he believes that she could really fit somewhere in the world and she can make a difference. Great. In your opinion, what is the major theme of the novel and why? I believe the major theme in the book is ambition because Anjali was so dedicated to change her life and she did it with the help of her teacher. The one big event that triggered her to leave was the assault she experienced with one of the potential husbands picked out by her father. And the whole novel is about Anjali finding herself, her place in the world. And since she is such a determined character, she finally gets what she wants in the end, which is personal happiness. Can you briefly describe the protagonist and antagonist in the main conflict? The protagonist? Uh, in the book is Anjali because the whole novel revolves around her, her feelings and her actions. And the antagonists in the, in, yeah, there's more than one antagonist, in the novel is her family because they're always telling her what to do. They're always against her. They make decisions without her approval. Um, and they're always doubting her instincts. So for example, um, Mr. Bose, which is Anjali's father, picked out one of the potential husbands um, and his name is, very hard name to pronounce, Subdob Mitra, and um, he thought that, oh, this will be the perfect husband for my daughter, when in reality, when they were alone, he assaulted her, and yeah, that was one of the events that triggered her to leave, and so um, she didn't tell her mother nor her father, and she just packed her bags and left, and she left to visit her sister in Patna, and um, she expected her to get some support from her sister when her sister was just like her mother and father, always against her, telling her what to do. And so her sister, one of the quotes she said that actually like really stunned Anjali was, um, what do you know? Nothing. You know nothing and you come to my house and lecture me. The handsome Mr. Mithra yours thought, no, he was positive that he was Baba's choice of Jemai. What does he, what he does to you before the wedding or after, does it matter that much? Does it matter enough to ruin other people's lives? Four lives in my case, the Baba's and Ma's, Philia's and mine. So this quote was said by Sonali, and instead of consoling her sister, she told Anjali that she was a burden to the family. So um, that's those are the antagonists in the book, and the main conflict. There's like two main conflicts in the book, and the first one is um, character versus character. So it's Anjali against her family, and um, again with the whole going back and forth, like they don't support her, they don't believe that she can do more in the world than just be a housewife, you know? And um, another one is character versus self, because she's really trying to find herself. She doesn't know what she is. She doesn't know what she, wanted, what she wants to do in life. And she's really, she's leaving her comfort zone. She's leaving her city to go to another city so she can find out who she is and what she wants to do in her life. What would you rate this book? I would rate this book four stars because it 
It was really interesting, and the author really sets an image in the reader's head, so the reader can acknowledge the feelings, um, the events that occurred in the character's life. And sometimes when you, I guess, when you read the text, when you read what happens in this part of the book, you really feel for that character. You actually um, end up taking empathy, and you feel, oh my gosh, like how is this character feeling? Oh, what, what would, oh my god, what would I do if I was in their case? Um, and it really, it really gets you thinking a lot more. And at some points of the book, yes, it was maybe a little bit, um, I kind of got lost in the book sometimes, maybe sometimes um, I, you know, kind of lost interest. And, um, but other than that, when the author has a big turning event, it really, like, you want to know what's going to happen next, so you want to keep reading on it. So that's why I gave it three stars. Is this book a good grade 10 academic ICU book to read? Yes, this book is actually a very good book to read for future grade 10 students. Um, I believe this is a great book to read because it does relate to a teenager's life. Um, of course, you know, the main character in the book is not necessarily a teenager. Um, she is like in her 20s, but the difference is that she never really got to find herself while she was a teenager, so um, she kind of gets that opportunity now when she leaves and she kind of wants to find herself, and it, it's related, it relates to teenagers because at this point in our life, we're trying to figure out what we want to do, what, where we want to go in life, um, just great things that we want to achieve in our life. So. It can really give us a great outlook um, on what she does. Necessarily, we're not going to do probably the same thing she does, but it really just shows how dedicated and how strong you have to be to achieve your goals in life. And oh my gosh, book! Yes, it is a good grade ten ISC book. Uh, I do recommend it for future grade ten students because it's relatable to a teenager's life now. The main character in the book, Anjali, is not necessarily a teenager, she's kind of in her early 20s, although she never really got to experience um, the teenager kind of stage because she, of her family um, circumstances, because they would not let her do a lot of things, um, they were very restricted, and um, so she never really got to that stage where she could find herself, so at this point where she is going out of her comfort zone, running away to another city just to find herself and to be someone that she didn't know who she was. So she's trying to find herself in this case and at the same time, we as teenagers are now trying to find ourselves, trying to see where we want to go in life, what goals and dreams we have for the future. And I think that it kind of sends a message to teens. Um, to show that you have to be really motivated, dedicated, and strong to really go after what you want. You can't just expect it to come so easy because that's not the way it worked for her. So I believe that this is a good ISU book because it does really uh, provoke a strong message and it does